We are always trying to develop better treatments for anorexia nervosa. Here at the Institute of Psychiatry, Psychology and Neuroscience, we are interested in the potential of a non-invasive brain stimulation technique. This is called transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS. Three, two, one. TMS fires magnetic pulses which can temporarily alter the neural activity in the brain. Our early results are promising. In five people with anorexia, TMS treatment, which involves 20 daily sessions, led to clinical improvements in both eating disorder and mood symptoms. We spoke to Jane about her experience of having 20 sessions of TMS to treat her anorexia. Um, so I guess for me, it was, it was like a newfound hope. It was like a bit of a breath of fresh air. Um, it seemed like a very logical approach to treating my anorexia rather than just like talking therapies, which is what I'd had previously. What does TMS feel like? Is it painful? So I didn't really feel much. Uh, it was sort of like a tapping on the side of my head. Um, it didn't really hurt and the, the tapping was in sort of short bursts and then there'd be like a few minutes break uh, in between and then, and then a bit more tapping. How did you feel before having TMS? Did you have any concerns or expectations? Um, so I'd, I'd had uh, anorexia for about 20 years, um, so from the ages of sort of 12 to 18 I was sort of in and out of hospital a lot. Um, I'd say I was probably more in hospital than I was out um, and it was sort of very exhausting um, and I'd really sort of just given up hope um, of sort of finding a treatment that was going to work for me. Um, so it was my mum that suggested the TMS actually. She'd seen it on a television programme and sort of suggested that I give it a go. Um, and to me it did sort of feel like a logical treatment. So it was targeting the organ that uh, to me I felt was, was not working properly, which is uh, the brain. So at the same time I did have a few concerns. Um, it felt like it was a mountain to climb, sort of starting this, this brand new treatment that I'd never had before. Um, I was maybe slightly worried about confidentiality, uh, particularly around sort of my job and things. Um, and then there was the concern that it would make me go the completely opposite way from my anorexia. So it would uh, maybe make me start overeating, which was a big concern that I had. I was also quite worried about taking time off work because I had to take four to six uh, weeks off work uh, in one block. But I spoke it through with my family and then I, when I went and met with the researcher, uh, they sort of listened to my concerns um, and I never felt pressured to do anything. Uh, they sort of put my mind at ease um, and then I started to feel really hopeful about, about the treatment. How did you feel during and following the TMS treatment? Um, so during the actual treatment, I didn't really feel much at all. Um, it, it, as I said, it didn't really hurt and I didn't feel it. And then even immediately after the TMS, um, I, did, I didn't really feel any different either. And if I'm honest, although I didn't expect the TMS to be a sort of instant cure or make me better instantly, um, I was maybe slightly disappointed about the fact that I didn't feel any different. Um, and that made me feel slightly low in mood, I think, to start with. What, if any, differences have you noticed since having the TMS treatment? Um, so as the weeks went on following the treatment, I started to feel gradually and gradually better. And I think for me, the biggest change has really been um, an improvement in my mood. So I used to feel very low in mood, like I was in sort of a, a dark fog. And now I feel a lot calmer um, and my mood just sort of feels generally a bit more positive. So generally, I think my anorexia feels quieter. Um, and I think that the TMS is just really helping me move towards my recovery. I guess in terms of my anorexia symptoms, my uh, diet was slightly lacking in, in variety before the TMS and since the treatment I've been able to see a dietitian and I'm starting to introduce a few more foods into my diet. Um, I'm also eating a bit more socially, so beforehand I would always eat by myself uh, and there's now been occasion where I've felt that I, I can eat with other people. In terms of my weight gain, uh, it's been quite slow and quite steady. Um, so that's felt quite comfortable. Um, and I think one of my best achievements since the TMS is that I've been working full time now um, for 20 months. I haven't had any hospital admissions and I haven't had a single day off sick. And that's sort of a massive achievement for me, uh, given, given my history um, of having anorexia. And what would you say to someone else considering having TMS treatment? Uh, I'd tell them definitely give it a go. Uh, even though I was hesitant about it to start with, um, I think the fact that I had a really good support network around me, both in terms of family and friends, um, and then also professionals, including my GP, uh, is really important. 
um, because even though the TMS is great by itself, it's really important to have those people um, around afterwards um, so that they can help you to put uh, those, those things into place in your recovery and, and help with the eating and, and the sort of moving forwards. So the way I see it is the TMS gave me the tools to help me recover and then um, the people around me um, really helped me put those tools into practice. Given the promising results so far in cases such as Jane, we are now recruiting for a cutting-edge world-first study. This study is called the TIARA study, which stands for TMS and Neuroimaging in Anorexia. The TIARA study is for people with anorexia who have had a previous course of treatment. It involves 20 daily sessions of individualised TMS and two MRI scans. This study will aid our understanding of the neural underpinnings of anorexia and will provide us with evidence about brain-directed treatments such as TMS in the treatment of anorexia and other eating disorders. If you are suffering from anorexia or know someone who is, please get in touch with us at the Institute of Psychiatry, Psychology and Neuroscience. We would love to hear from you and give you some more information about this exciting and novel research.